Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Parfum Vintage, and this is a cologne house that offers quite a number of perfumes that are supposed to be clones of popular niche and designer, um, more pricey perfumes. So I ordered a few samples just cause I was curious. And so I'm just gonna kind of walk through these samples today. Um, this is not sponsored at all. And um, the other piece I was gonna mention is that these are $6 a piece. Um, I actually ordered them a while ago, but um, I thought that I would just um, talk about them today. And um, Perfum Vintage is out of the UK and they seem to be fairly popular. They're, um, <clears throat> although they're quite a bit less expensive than some of the brands that they are attempting to clone, they're not very inexpensive. They're kind of mid-range, I would say. I think most of their full bottles range from about 60 US dollars to 120 US dollars. So they're not cheap, um, but they're definitely cheaper than say your um, Chanel exclusive line or um, Creed, um, etc. So anyway, I'm going to start out with uh, Cacophony. And Cacophony has bergamot, neroli, bitter orange, rose, patchouli, jasmine, iris, white chocolate, musk, benzoin, olibdamin, and vanilla. And I believe this is supposed to be a clone of um, Chanel Coromandel, which I have not smelled. But this is really beautiful. Um, it's, uh, which makes me want to try the Coromandel, which I have never tried, but this is quite lovely and unique. Um, I think it's a really nice blend of those notes that I mentioned. Um, you can get the benzoin and the patchouli and the fruits and the florals. And it's just, um, I think it's a very winter appropriate fragrance. And so this, I think this one was my favorite out of all the ones that I, that I have six samples. And this one, when I tried these several months ago, when I first got them, this one was my favorite cacophony. Um, and so we'll see how I feel today, but this is Parfum Vintage Cacophony. The next one is called Sublime Musk and that's M-U-S-C. And this has juniper berries, cypress, black iris, incense, myrrh, patchouli, honey, vanilla, musk, and amber. And this is um, a clone of Dior Bois d'Argent, which I also have not tried. And this is also very, very classy. Um, it reminds me of sort of a classy French, um, which I know that's not very specific, but <laughs> it's got a very um, mature, classy, sophisticated vibe. Um, definitely very um, amber heavy. Um, reminds me a little bit of um, Histoire de Parfum Ombre 114, which is um, one that I have a travel spray of. So this is a very um, amber heavy, like the name implies, sublime musk. Um, very nice winter, beautiful, um, nice. Seems very classy, very niche smelling. Um, then I have Sandal Amber, which is, has incense, amber, sandalwood, olive, <laughs> it's hard for me to pronounce, um, patchouli, labdamum, and vanilla. And so this one is a clone, quote unquote, of Tom Ford and Amber Absolute. Ooh, really spraying my hand. Uh, this is really beautiful. It, it reminds me a little bit of the previous one, Sublime Musk, but I like this even more. It's got a lot more punch to it, more, um, maybe more resin, more um, something. Maybe it's that incense. I definitely get the incense, but it's it's really beautiful and just a little more amped up than that last one. So this was Sundal Amber and um, a little bit pretty similar to the Sublime Musk, but more intense kind of and more um, strong in your face and where a Sublime Musk was a little more subtle and classy, this one's a little more aggressive or assertive, I guess I should say. So those are my thoughts on that one. <laughs> Next, I have Sunset in Heaven, which has 
amber, saffron, orange, jasmine, cedar, ambergris, fir resin, and ambroxan. And this is uh, supposed to be a uh, clone of Francis Kirkjohn's um, Baccarat Rouge 540. And so there are lots, and it definitely, it definitely gives me that vibe. So I haven't, I still haven't tried Baccarat Rouge 540, but I have tried um, Burberry Her Intense now and Ariana Grande Cloud. So this smells very res reminiscent of Burberry Her Intense and Ariana Grande's Cloud. So um, I guess I can't really say for sure if it, if it is very similar to the Baccarat Rouge 540, but Sunset in Heaven is beautiful. It's got that um, sweet, whipped creamy, chemically, but not in a bad way, <laughs> um, vibe that those other ones I mentioned have. So that's Sunset in Heaven. Um, I just recently tried the Burberry Her Intense. It was on my um, list of fragrances I want to try in 2020, which I'll link up in the cards. And I didn't notice a huge um, difference between that and Ariana Grande's Cloud. So I don't think I'll be picking up a full bottle of Burberry Her Intense. The next one I have is Rush of Unicorns, which is has sea salt, Sicilian lemon, and melon, black currant, iris, mandarin orange, bergamot, lavender, sandalwood, white amber, and ambergris. And this is a clone of Creed's Malaysian Imperial. Malaysian? I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Um, this one is, uh, and I haven't smelled the Creed, so um, again. My frame of reference is maybe not the best, but this is nice. It's, you can definitely get those citrus fruits. Um, a lot of ambroxan. Um, definitely has a more uh, stereotypical masculine vibe to it than the other ones. Um, all of these are, I think, very unisex characteristically. This one leans a little, quite a bit more masculine to me and it's pretty, um, I don't know, it doesn't smell incredibly unique to me, but um, so this, I think this is my least favorite that I've tried so far of these, that's Rush of Unicorns. And the last one I have is called Pineapple Vintage Intense. And of course this is a clone of Creed Aventus. And this has pi pineapple, apple, bergamot, rose, jasmine, patchouli, musk, ambergris, vanilla, and birch. And And yeah, you definitely get a strong pineapple blast of ambroxan, um, something a little chemically. I've talked about how I um, recently tried Aventus, um, just sampled it for the first time, and I found it to be very chemically, not very um, pretty in my opinion. Um, but I don't know, that that um, experience seems to be so off from what I've heard about it, so I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again at some point, but this, is very much like that. When I tried uh, Aventus the other day, this reminds me quite a bit of that, and including that that chemical um, quality that I just I don't care for. So I personally would not recommend this Pineapple Vintage Intense, but I'm sure it's very popular and it it is not very um, different from the Aventus that I tried. I can't speak to the longevity of these because I really haven't. Um, haven't tested most of these out. I have worn Cacophony um, and Sunset in Heaven. I've tested those out. They have decent longevity. And um, yeah, so this is um, Parfum Vintage. And again, this is a pretty popular, well-known clone house. And I, um, I'm not really moved to buy any full bottles of any of these at this point. Although some of them I think are very nice. So I just thought I would share my thoughts. And um, if you have experience with Parfum Vintage, I'd be really interested in hearing them in the comments below. I'd also be really interested in hearing what kinds of videos you'd be interested in seeing from me. So if you would also leave those below, I would very much appreciate it as well as please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.